Hello everyone and welcome back to a new video. Now I'm going to be introducing today a new system that I'm doing for the marketplace uh, which basically just gives you a very nice solution for the your first person arms animation. So instead of using the classic keyframe animations I'm going to be doing all of that procedurally. So I'm taking care of the basic movement function that normally players have which is the jumping, the walking, um, the sprinting, then I'm also doing the shooting and aiming down sights as, um, as well as a basic sway and if I press play I can show you all that so uh, I also have equip and equip so I have two weapons as an example if I press one I equip the default template weapon and if I press two then I equip uh, the shooter game example rifle and you can see my other animation here and then you can see the walking um, cycle which is pretty good and if I change my mouse quickly and rotate it around you can see the sway of the weapon affecting it and everything works the same way independent of the skeleton and the mesh uh, if i hold shift i can show you the sprint which is something like that and you can switch weapons and you can see everything gets layered together and it works perfectly fine i also have the jumping uh, then the shooting and i also have a basic recoil system uh, added in the project so you can see that as i shoot i'm not going to move my mouse and you can see, um, you know, I have feedback on the weapon when I shoot. So, you know, the amount of recoil and everything, you can tweak that. Uh, then I also have aim down sights. You can see it's, uh, you know, you retain the sway, you retain the movement animation, but it's tuned down because uh, the weapon is so close to your face. And obviously you have the shooting animations and the recoil all working even in aim down sights. And I also have, as an example, um, a normal uh, animation, a keyframe animation that works on top of the procedural one. So if I press R, I play a reload animation, which is the classic uh, keyframe animation, but now it blends together with the procedural one. So for example, if I sprint and reload, you can see everything gets played together. Even when I jump, everything gets played together, which is pretty cool. But then especially, uh, to give you that effect in modern games that normally shooters have now, when you ADS and shoot, uh, or when you reload, uh, your ADS is going to stay uh, you know, on your camera and your weapon is not going to reset back to this pose. It's actually going to keep the sights on your screen while it plays animations. And this is something that you see, for example, in Call of Duty Mother Murphar, the newest ones. Um, you know, it all works in tandem with each other and it blends perfectly. And that's basically it for the system. Uh, you know, it's very simple, it's simplistic in a way, but it also has a tons of settings that I'm going to show you right now. So if I go into my data set where I have my weapon settings, um, this is the rifle one that I show you. You can set your arms mesh, uh, you can set, you know, your blending for the sways, for the aim down sights. Then you have a lot of settings for each movement pose, for example, the base locomotion, the walk cycles. Uh, you can change the curves uh, of interpolation for each axis of location and rotation, which gives you really, really good control. Uh, you can change the values, uh, you know, and you can do that for the jumping as well. You can do that for the shoot. You have the recoil system settings right over here, and then you have the equipment and equipment and then the sprint. It works in similar ways, but I wanted to give you access to all the settings that I could so you can really customize your animations. And I can go, for example, over into the base locomotion. And this is the basically the sideways way. So the Y axis uh, is sideways on your screen and the X is forward and back. So I'm obviously not moving it. Um, you know, this is the start and the end for your arms. Uh, I'm going to explain all these settings in a separate video, by the way. So don't worry if you don't understand what they do right now. I'm going to go one by one and explain what they do. Uh, but it takes too long for this video. But I'm just going to go ahead over here and change these values. For example, between minus 0 0.5 to something like minus 2 and to 2. So Y is basically left and right, left and right. So if I now play with this, uh, equip my rifle, you can see that now the weapon goes sideways much more. Uh, so for example, if you have an LMG, every weapon is going to have bigger movements because it's heavier. And you can really uh, give stuff like that. And I can go to the Z axis. Do the same thing. I can really exaggerate and go uh, minus four to four. And this is just a location. You can do the same stuff with rotation. And now you can see what's going to happen. You can see I have a really, really big sway. And if I go to the other weapon, because it's weapon based, uh, then you get back to the fault values that I used. But then, you know, you have this. So you can really exaggerate and go crazy uh, with values. And it's all, you know, really customizable to your liking. 
And yeah, I'm going to leave this video here. Just wanted to quickly introduce the system. Uh, before I go, just want to confirm to you that I'm actually not cheating you and using normal animations. This is my entire project. And if I press animation sequence to show my animations, I have the base pose for the art, which is the only thing that you need. This is a one keyframe animation just with the base pose. Same thing with the other skeleton and the, for the other arms and the other rifle, uh, which works completely in different skeletons, but it still works in tandem. And then I also have the rifle reload, which is the keyframe animation for the reloading, which is a normal animation, no special thing about it, and it just works layered on top. Um, and yeah, now I'm going to leave this video here. So let me know your questions, your feedback, any suggestions. Uh, please let me know. Join my Discord or leave it in the comments here in the video. Um, and yeah, thank you guys so much for watching, and I'll see you all in the next one. Bye-bye.